In a media interaction with the police, Minister of Justice Johnston Businje, who presided over the event, said that Rwandans and foreigners alike are well assured of their security in this country. The, the state of the security of our country is uh, very good. Our citizens, residents, visitors, tourists, everybody should rest assured that the security of our country is in very safe situation, in very safe hands. Our citizens are up to the task. You saw what happened in the, in the north the other day. You saw what happened in uh, Nyavimata a few months ago. Citizens played a very huge role in uh, 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 tracing whoever had infiltrated and reporting and sharing information and making sure that their security was not interrupted. So anybody who is on our soil should feel, uh, should rest assured that their security is uh, assured. This comes against the backdrop of the recent attacks in Musanze district that left 14 people dead. Minister Businja said that Rwanda is willing to cooperate with neighboring countries in order to curb cross-border crimes. But we have uh, the will and we actually do practice uh, cooperation with other countries. Some of the uh, security issues that we experience cross over our borders and come cross from outside and come into our borders. So our cooperation with uh, uh, our neighboring countries, we have the will, we have the practice, we have it so, so, so clear on record. We, we wish to cooperate with every neighbor to be sure that uh, uh, we protect their security and they protect our security in relation to what might happen here or what might happen there that would cross over to each other's country. The minister was also categorical that Rwanda will not be used to stage criminal activities that destabilize the security of her neighboring countries. Our territory would not be used, and I want to repeat this, our territory would not be used by anybody uh, to stage destabilization uh, uh, activities in a neighboring country. This is uh, uh, a line that Rwanda drew. We cannot uh, allow that to happen on our soil. Uh, I think even if it happened without our knowledge, we would uh, stand up and be counted in tracing what exactly happened. Nothing has happened from our soil, but even if it happened without our knowledge, we would stand up and live up to that expectation. At the same time, the Rwandan police have announced that positive results have come from a 52-week road safety campaign that was aimed at creating awareness and bringing a mindset change to road users in the country. The traffic police said that fatalities due to road carnage in the country reduced from 15 to 7 in the past eight weeks, while those arrested for drinking and driving significantly reduced from 141 to 62. The Inspector General of Police, Dan Munyuza, said that the campaigns which have been predominantly in the Kenya Rwanda language will also be conducted in other languages, including English, to help foreigners in the country to better understand the traffic regulations. Most of our campaigns are in Kenya Rwanda. And uh, I think we should do more to make sure that our campaigns also go in other languages, including English. But uh, what I can say is that all drivers that use our roads are supposed to respect our traffic laws and regulations, regardless of where they come from. In the period between January and September this year, 532 people died due to road accidents, 705 others were seriously injured, and 1,127 others sustained minor injuries, while 1,231 properties were destroyed in the accidents. Fatima Tessi, RTV, Kigali.